Thank you, Ryan. You know, Hurricane Adalia disrupted this year's pecan crops for Georgia farmers. Counties in the southern part of the state received the most damage, but it also happened to mid-state growers. In tonight's On the Farm, we visit with a Telfair County pecan farmer who explains the setbacks that Georgia producers now face. This is just some of the debris that we've cleaned up. This is primarily some of the small limbs. This is one of several piles that we have on the farm here. Um, but, you know, there's there's a good many good many nuts that's going to be in this pile, too, um, that, that are no longer going to be, be able to be used. Even though Adalia damaged his family's Telfair County pecan orchard, Brian Walker is not counting his losses, but rather his blessings. It could have been a lot worse. I had some friends out in the county um, close to Lumber City. I know he said he lost 17 of his big trees, and those trees are really irreplaceable. I mean, those trees are probably 100 years old. I do feel like I personally dodged a bullet. You know, I definitely had some loss, but I really feel for my friends down, you know, south and, you know, around Valdosta. A lot of big farms down there, and I know they have just, you know, took a huge hit, um, and some that may not ever recover. Walker estimates wind speeds up to 40 miles per hour from Adalia bared down on his orchard. And while, as he points out, his family's farm missed the worst of the storm's wrath, it still damaged his crop. We're estimating probably at about a 30 to 40 percent crop loss from what we would have before the storm. Walker says the smaller pecan trees suffered the most damage. These little trees, they just, they don't have a big enough root system yet. To, to hold these tops and we try to keep them, you know, top back hedged, but you know, we do all we can do and then, you know, that's, that's it. This tree, you know, the tree's fine. Hopefully it won't lean anymore, but if you look here at the base, you can see it's shifted probably a good, I don't know, four or five inches, you know, that way. Of course, all the winds were coming from the Northwest, you know, coming across here and that, you know, that's, that's very minor damage. But the Walker's larger trees also took a hit. See, that's some of the damage from the storm, and uh, it's pretty widespread throughout the orchard. So I just cracked these open that were on the ground, and you can see that they were almost, you know, done filling out um, right before we, we lost them. So that's what we deal with. When they're in this stage, that's the heaviest they are. They're still green. They hadn't started drying down yet. UGA Ag and Natural Resources agent Colby Royal says he's heard from many growers in the Telfair County area who also suffered storm loss. When a day came through, we have an estimated loss of 35% around the county. Uh, the northern part of the county um, took a pretty substantial hit, um, but I think we dodged a bullet and we'll be able to recover. This pile behind me is just an example of one at Walker Orchard of some of the damage left behind by Idalia. Now, I'm six feet tall, and you can tell it's a lot taller than I am. It gives you just a slight insight into some of the damage that our pecan farmers had across the state. Ag Commissioner Tyler Harper says Georgia's pecan crops got the worst of Adelia's damage and estimates a 50 to 60 percent loss statewide. Royal says it's a loss that will be felt by producers and consumers. Production will be down uh, a tad. Uh, parts of West Georgia didn't have near the storm damage that Southeast Georgia did, uh, but potentially it could, it could drive the price up. And Walker says even though the loss here on the farm he runs with his father, Henry Walker, is comparatively small, he says the impact will linger for a while. I've got some trees that I've, I've stopped back up and I've still got a good many I've got to do. My hopes are that, you know, with me pulling these trees back up, you know, straight, that eventually they're going to, you know, take root again and hopefully, you know, in the long run, be a, be a healthy tree again. But just as signs of new life already emerge from the damaged trees, so it feeds the optimism that Walker and so many Georgia farmers somehow always manage to keep. We have took some big hits in the past few years with Irma and Michael and now Adelia. Um, so it kind of gets you, you know, disheartened. But then again, at the same time, you know, I'm out here. I, I enjoy what I do. And, you know, we just we just hope that we can recover and, and make it better. That's, that's our farmers, they just keep.